Well, madness made its way to the city of Orlando, and they call this place the most magical place on earth. And well, for these Baylor Bears, I think it was. After 29 unanswered points in the second half, Baylor secures its largest comeback in school history. Blake Chapin back with the start under center for the first matchup as Big 12 foes, with both squads looking for their first conference win of the season. And first half, it was all nights, all night. Timmy McLean under center fakes the handoff, lets it fly downfield find Javon Baker and off he goes straight to the house for another UCF six to widen the shutout 21 nothing with two minutes left in the first Baylor answers the call shaping in the red zone fakes the handoff rolls fakes me out a little bit too dives into the end zone for the keeper his first score of the night to make it 21 7 but UCF takes no time to strike back. Chapin with the handoff straight into traffic. There's a dog pile, and all of a sudden, the ball finds its way into the hands of Damari Henderson, and off he goes, hugging the left sideline. The wheels start rolling, and he flies right into the paint for another night six to widen it 27-7. Third quarter, McLean scrambles with a floater to Traymon Morris Brash, and the last time the Knights see points on the board. And this is where the magic happens. Bears work it downfield, shape and scrambles, floats it into Keytron Jackson, and Baylor slowly crawling back. Here they come knocking on the door again. Shapin finds Jordan Neighbors riding solo, and he trots this one in for another Baylor score to tighten it up 35-26 nights. But it was this play that changed everything. UCF at the Baylor 25, RJ Harvey in the slot with the fumble. It's scooped up by Caden Jenkins and it's all gas, no breaks. 72 yards straight to the house. The life the Bears have been looking for. And we've got a two point ball game in Orlando. Next drive, Baylor works it into field goal range. Isaiah Hankins with the golden foot and with 120 left on the clock in the fourth, the Bears take the lead. All they had to do was get one UCF stop to seal it, but Knights weren't going down without a fight. Fourth down, McLean in the backfield looking, scrambles. He's got time, still looking with the roll, still scrambling, and he lets it go downfield, finds his guy R.J. Harvey, and the Knights live to see another snap. Colton Boomer lines up for a 59-yarder, a chance to be the hero, and it's no good. A comeback for the ages, and it's a Waco party in Orlando. Final score from FBC Mortgage, 36-35. And the Bears with 29 unanswered points in the second half to overcome the biggest comeback in school history. Even when the scoreboard said 35-7, Shapin never stopped thinking they'd pull out the win. I believe in all of our coaches. I believe in all my teammates, these guys right here. Um, I never stopped believing. I get we were one and three, and, and that's not a way to start the season, but I never stopped believing. I believe we're going to win this game before the game, and, and in the middle of the game, we're down whatever, 28 points. And it's, it's a big thanks to our coaches, um, my teammates. Everybody played so hard. I'm so proud of everybody, this whole organization, and you know everybody was doubting us. And so we use that as fuel this game and, and carrying out with a W. And what a welcome back for the QB1 after being out with an MCL injury, leading his team to the biggest comeback in school history. After sitting at one and three, it was a win everyone needed. But head coach Dave Aranda says if there's one guy who knows this feeling of adversity and how to handle it, well, it's their starter under center. I think some of the issues the team has kind of been going through, Blake went through last year. And so here we are kind of going through the same thing. And the guy that can lead us, uh, that kind of knows the way out or through rather, you know, um, wasn't there. So he, he knew in coming into it that all of it would be on his shoulders. And certainly none of us would tell him that, but he knew that that's what the perception would be. And so with all that being said, he welcomed that and embraced it. 29 unanswered points in a hostile UCF environment with a comeback for the ages. I mean, the movie writes itself. The Bears will definitely celebrate this one all the way back to Waco, but they now set their eyes on Texas Tech hosting the Red Raiders next Saturday for a night in McLean Stadium. But that's going to do for sports here from Orlando. We'll be right back.